Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. And if it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to put the thumbs up, the thumbs down, subscribe, share, you know the usual. Um, I'm going to do a couple of immigration videos today and then I'm going to do something on my dark, sh my dark shade, on my dark shades channel. Um, and that will be about how to love again, just in case you're interested. I'm not saying you don't know how to love. But hey, there's many of us who don't know how to love again. Anyway, back to business. We're talking about no recourse to public funds. Now, I've always always really been worried about those migrants that have no recourse for public funds. And it's fine when they're working and they've come over here and they was given a job. And then all of a sudden, because of the coronavirus, they lost their job. And as a result of losing their job, well, what happened is, is that they come to the country because they've been offered a job. Um, one of the criteria of taking that job is that you do not have access to, you have no recourse to public funds. And it is assumed you're going to be looking after yourself and your salary is going to cover you. And all things being equal, that is what should happen. But because of the coronavirus, a lot of people who were working were laid off. They were laid off, so they didn't have no money, and as a result, no recourse to public funds. So I thought that they had no access to anything at all. Well, it's a kind of give with one hand and take with the other. So when I first read this article, I got it from the freemovement.com. I thought, great, they're not going to be totally destitute. But then I read at the bottom, and there are some um, prerequisites. So let me just do it because I don't want this to be a long, a long video. So migrants who have no recourse to public funds, you are entitled to get corona testing and treatment, if that's of use to you. You're entitled to have deliveries of food and medicine if you're shielding, particularly as a vulnerable person. Now, I don't know why the word particularly has been put in there. I mean, why couldn't they just say shielding as a vulnerable person? Because once you put particularly in there, it assumes that you have to be a certain level of vulnerability in order to qualify. And that's a whole different ball game. Um, you are entitled to statutory sick pay. I'm not quite sure how that works, because I would have thought you'd only be entitled to statutory sick pay if you're working. And if, you, if you've lost your job, and that's the reason why you have no recourse to public funds. How do you apply for statutory sick pay? Maybe there is a way, even though you're not working. Maybe everyone is able to apply for statutory sick pay. But I'm just wondering what the criteria is for that. OK, they also say you're entitled to contributory employment and support allowance. There's also the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme and Coronavirus Self-Employment Income Support Scheme. Now, I'd be really interested if there are any migrants who have no recourse to public funds, if they have attempted any of these um, entitlements, and if so, what was their experience? I mean, is this just lip service? Um, apparently, the Home Office has launched a 1.5 million pilot fund to accommodate victims of domestic abuse, um, those victims who have no recourse to public funds. And this is where I felt as though the blanket had been pulled from, the rug had been pulled for under the feet, and why I thought that maybe it is a case of give with one hand and take with the other, because the government hasn't announced a blanket policy to change the no recourse to public fund restrictions. So to me, that says to me that whilst uh, an individual who has no recourse to public funds is entitled to all of this stuff, it's not a blanket policy. So I don't even know why they put it there. I mean, they might as well say it would be better if they say these are the conditions upon which you are entitled, instead of making it look like migrants with no recourse to public funds can get the coronavirus, the deliveries, the statutory sick pay, the contributory ESA, blah, blah, blah. 
and when they have to actually um, apply to have the no recourse to public funds lifted in order to qualify. That's my understanding. Because um, if they're saying it's not a blanket policy, and then it says those subject to no recourse to public funds condition must still apply to have it lifted in order to access the wider welfare system. Now, I don't know if those with no recourse to public funds are entitled to all of this, but what made me feel a bit dubious was the fact that it's not a blanket policy, so it's not everyone, and I'm not quite sure who qualifies and who doesn't. And then the wider welfare system, um, that's probably universal credit and stuff. So you, in order to get that, you would have to have a, you had have to apply to have your no recourse to public funds condition lifted. Um, the only other thing I was going to say, removing the no recourse to public funds has implications. It puts you on a 10-year track to settlement rather than five years. So if you're currently on a five-year and then you want to remove the no recourse to public funds so you can get some kind of financial help, you then go on the 10-year. And then if you change your mind and then you want to go back to the no recourse to public funds, you start from zero. That's what I understand it. If you manage to change back, you lose all your accrued residence history and start back to zero. So um, the policy has also been updated from already destitute to becoming at risk of destitution. So I just wanted to point out there, I mean, it might be good for some. I mean, some people with no recourse to public funds might have believed that they weren't entitled to anything at all, because that was my understanding. But according to... The, these are the new coronavirus regulations, 15 September 2020. This is what they're saying. And I'm going to put the link in the, in the um, description so you can see. I'm not making it up. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.